this evening, there are questions right now about the future of the Highline Canal and the Highline Canal path. Most of those questions relate to water, which is needed to maintain the tree canopy along the path. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez live out there on the canal in Centennial. And Lance, the High Line is only intermittently really used for inter irrigation anymore. Teresa, at one point, Denver Water used the canal to ship water as far east as the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. Not anymore. Now they just use it intermittently to ship water to their one remaining customer. Denver Water loses about 60 to 80 percent of the water that goes into the canal. Denver Water has one irrigation customer left along the High Line, Fairmont Cemetery. So water shipments are intermittent. It's almost kind of nicer that it doesn't have the water because it has fewer bugs this way. <laughs> really, truly. I mean, it always had those gnats and would drive oh, you yeah. crazy. But the water, as infrequent as it is, keeps these cottonwoods and other shade trees alive. And I like to come here on those 90 degree days that we get where it's really, really sunny. And so the shade and the gravel keeps everything a little cooler where the Cherry Creek Trail is just hot. The question is, what is Denver Water Board going to do with water? Dave Lorenz sits on the High Line Canal Conservancy. He says they're looking at other options. One possibility, working with urban flood control to see if stormwater can be diverted into the canal. How many storms do we have in Colorado where we have sufficient runoff that goes into the canal? The second thing that's a concern is under Colorado law, the water has to be released in 72 hours. Lorenz says if money and water were no object, he'd like to see water year round on the canal, but adds that's not going to happen. He'd also like to see all 71 miles of the trail system under one umbrella instead of 11 separate jurisdictions. And while the canal isn't used much for water, 500,000 people use it for recreational purposes. Tomorrow, Governor John Hickenlooper, Aurora Mayor uh, Steve Hogan, and other dignitaries will begin a big outreach program to get public input on how to protect and enhance this urban jewel. In Centennial, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.